morning everyone welcome to another session on this channel i want to discuss a very important topic with you today how to prepare for ICANN examination i want to share with you a few tips which has helped me go through this ICANN journey successfully now one of the things you want to know is any preparation when you have determined that you are going to write a particular diet because the ICANN, in the ICANN examination we have two diets May diet and the November diet now when you have decided on what diet you want to write your exam let's assume the May diet ICANN lecture for the May diet starts in January after the release of results now it is very important for you to do what prepare early prepare early strategize how do i pass this exams now in preparing early you also determine how many costs can you carry because most of us are not stay at home students we work and then you're also going for these exams it's not easy to combine work and studies so you also ensure that you decide in this diet in this level how many courses do i have how, how many can i carry in the diet at the time if you have decided that okay i'm going to take three out of four three out of five you start early in preparing for these three courses get a good tuition center select a good tuition center how do you know how do you determine a good tuition center you ask them the past rates of their students who have written the past exams so far how is their past rates this is how to know how good a tuition center is and also get other inquiries about the tuition center how flexible is their lecture you know lecture time some do lectures during the week some do during the weekends which one is convenient for you you get you need to you know put those things under consideration after you must have gotten your tuition center now another thing is for you to familiarize yourself what's the icon syllabus for this diet what is the icon syllabus what does it cover in a particular topic in a course in this course, what's the ICANN syllabus going to be like? You need to familiarize yourself with it so that you don't just read it blindly. There's a lot to cover. So you don't want to waste your time doing what is not important. After you've gotten your uh, syllabus, another tip is for you to get your ICANN pack and all the materials that will, you can read that will help enable you to prepare. Each tuition center, apart from the ICANN pack, has broken the ICANN pack into smaller volumes because the ICANN pack is usually very voluminous. You still have it, using it to make references and all that, but you need it to get other materials so that you'll be able to read. You know, some of the lecturers did well enough to put very salient tips, salient lines and topics that are important for you to you know get yourself familiar with before the diet exam get past question papers very important you cannot do without a past question paper you must have read and covered a lot of topics but how well how well do you know these topics you have read is determined by the question papers that you're going to solve before examination question papers help you to know patterns in which questions are set in the examination it helps you to know how these questions are set areas that are going to be set and also there are topics there are courses that have formulas formulas and then you help you to be able to get used to those formulas you get to know how well you have read using the past question papers also get out you know the pattern in which i can question goals you get, need to get yourself familiar with it get the past icon questions study it go through it and all that it helps you you may likely see some of those questions in the examination if they don't change they might change figures they might just change names and all that so you need to study with what your past questions these are very important for you before you get into the icon examination now this is 
coming towards the end of the diet and then the exams is already here ensure you go for revision classes because all manner of preparation for this exam cannot be wasted you need to go for revision classes helps you to know that okay these are the topics i've covered these are the topics i've not been able to cover it keeps your mind fresh before it helps you to refresh your mind on how those questions are going to be now you are prepared for the examination and now the exams is here how do you now face your exams don't entertain fear face the exam with courage so many students are fond of you know going to the examination with fear and all of that yes it's uncertain you don't know where areas where the examiner is going to set this question but you have prepared so you need to do what face with courage with boldness now before you get to the examination ensure you get enough sleep as you redo your revision ensure that you get enough sleep before you get to the examination also get to the exams center on time get to know where you are writing your exams and also ensure that you are there at least one hour before the exam starts it is not good for you to after preparation you rush into the exam when people are seated you to throw you off balance if you're not careful so you need to get to the exam center one hour before the exam as get to know your seats get to know where your number is placed and all of that and settle down before the exam questions are given to you in the examination all read all instructions before you open the question paper ensure that you get to know what instructions have been you have been written in front of page of the question paper when you want to start answering your question one of the things that will help you is start with multiple choice questions very important because number one question can be a kind of difficult question and it might be something you know but if you see it because of the um, uh, you know the marks allotted to that question you might be thrown off balance even other questions might be even simpler and easier for you to attempt but because you are already thrown off balance you may lose your guide you may you know lose your confidence in writing and passing the exam start with multiple choice questions ensure that you go to other session how many questions are you to answer then you answer them then you come to number one number one question is compulsory with ix mark but you settle down tackle number one question at least 50 percent ensure that you answer it to a 50 percent level if you have done justice to other questions you will definitely surely pass that diet exam and i also want to say that you go to the examination or with a wrist watch a wrist watch that is working helps you time you don't have all the time you have three hours or so for these exams so it helps you manage your time in the exam and also help you to be able to answer a reasonable amount of questions i want to let you know that if you can put all of this together practice all of these tips i've given to you success will be a portion in your examination thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and god bless you thank you